4.30 in the morning. I'm on the way to the airport. Took out my trash. Fed my cat. And I'm off for another adventure. Just wanna waste some time with you. Grand Hinkley Casino. All right, I'm expecting a dump. It's not that bad. It's fine. Don't be exaggerated. The Grand Hinkley Inn. This looks like the place on uh, Newhart. I think there's a church and a bit of brewery. And they head over there. This side facing the street is going to be loud and annoying all night. Anyway, well, here we are. This is the uh, Grand Hinkley Inn, also the home of the Lincoln assassination, as you can tell. And they have a library. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people down here reading later. Charlie and I are trying to find uh, the amphitheater, and uh, there's no, there's no. Uh, sound check today, line check, but we gotta check out the stage, get passes, drop things off, and uh, so far we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. You know it's gonna be a big show when you see the uh, mini donuts and the corn dogs. Gonna be a big one. Big rock and roll show tonight. A little excitement. Jack, very exciting. Brittany Fox, another one. Very exciting. So everyone was waiting to see. Triple Axe Attack. This is like the uh, craft services and the container. And this is what's going on out here. Alright. Oh John Johnny's making a run for it. Johnny's making a run for it. I'm going to try as well, but not with him. Look how crazy this is. Let's see what's going on over here. I think they're getting ready for the first man. You can see all kinds of drum risers. Each band has their own drum riser, so they can change them in and out. That one was Jackal. I'm not sure which one this is. Uh, not positive. Then over here, uh, I think this might be, I don't know who these bands are, but on the end there, that's Quiet Riot, and the one in the back is Stephen Pierce. He just doesn't have the drum head on it yet. Then you go too far, and you can hear Sweet F.A. Believe it or not.
a long time ago. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it, right? I saw Jackal open for Damn Yankees at Radio City Music Hall like 300 years ago. And that was kind of the last I heard of Jackal uh, until now. Scott Coogan here to bowl. John! This is the uh, black are men's and uh, red are women's, so you need a you need a seven, right? Okay. I, I just I just freshly sprayed these today. Here's some sevens. And I'll just take your card over there when you're done bowling. Scott's a picking day. up a little extra work. Sir? You got your 13s? Wow. Is it true what they say? Yep, big shoes. Big yeah, big heart. Big heart. Yeah, good. Okay, I got my nines. I'm out of here. Nice, thank you. I'm picking get up a little bowl. side work. You, nice. You, you want some? You want some eighty ones? You're a uh, <laughs> you're a haberdasher. You're like fun. Nice. I assure you, it's fucking eight, eight hundred and twenty four. Does it come in a pump? <laughs> Look at the puffer. Look at we, we happen to have the new puffers in look black. At, look at Scott picking up a little extra work on the road. Sure. I mean, I fresh. I I. I spent the whole morning spraying all the insides of them. Smell them. No, I'm all right. <laughs> but look, you got a whole setup here. Yep. So black for men. You know what they say about big feet, right? About big what? You know what they say about big feet, right? I, I, uh, big uh, shoes. Big shoes, yeah. It's been a while. Very nice. It's been a while. A weird uh, place to stay. It's a fun jo a night, Johnny. We had an eventful time. Bonanza? Gunsmoke? This is something you never want to see. The sun's not up yet. And we're on our way uh, to the next city. Flying this morning from Minneapolis. To Chicago. Fog is as thick as pea soup. So yeah, just two things are coming out. Oh yo! So this is the back door to the venue. This is the law office of Louis Capulzi. And he has influence. And then this would be hospitality. Slash dressing rooms. Look. Very nice. 
set up. Look at my own second. Hi, how are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Autograph. Quite right. Too embarrassing. There's Johnny Monaco. It's 15th cup of coffee of the day. Look at all this fine stuff. And you can see that my office has been cleaned and sealed for my protection. Let's see. Wow. I got an exciting office. This is why I got into showbiz. Just hanging out in Des Plaines, Illinois. And uh, see if there's anything interesting. Well, these stairs look interesting. Wait a second. Suddenly I feel like I'm going to school on Saturday. Wait. I think that this police station, this is the police station, is also the high school from The Breakfast Club. So, if you're a fan of The Breakfast Club, here is the famous scene from the movie. Pretty crazy. This high school behind me is now a police station here in Des Plaines, Illinois. It looks almost exactly the same as it did in the breakfast club. A few things have changed. This uh, handicapped accessible ramp was not here. Probably back in the 80s, that wasn't, uh, wasn't the thing. But everything else looks almost the same, the whole buildings. The gymnasium is where they filmed the library scene. The library was a set built in the gymnasium inside this building. Here in Des Plaines, Illinois, Took a quick stop at the cemetery. So if you're in Des Plaines, Illinois, and you want to visit the final resting place of a true Illinois legend, look no further than the grave of the legendary Harry Carey. Harry Carey, right here. It's a beautiful day for baseball. This is an Illinois legend. Statler and Wardorf from the, uh, the, uh, have you seen rat? Oh, oh rat! You know what I'm saying? So I think what that is. Oh, look at this place. Going on here. This is the Des Plaines Theater, and this is a pretty cool place. I like these old, uh, I like these old buildings, old theaters. This was obviously a movie theater, and uh, I don't know how far back it goes. We'll get some history, but it may have even been a uh, silent movie theater going back. But really cool place here in Des Plaines, Illinois. As you can see, Stephen Pearson. An autograph for night, and then of course, uh, Mr. Las Vegas, Wayne Noon. You come all the way here, one day you get Stephen Pearson Grant and Quiet Riot, the next day you get Wayne Noon. Look at how nice it is here. Enjoying my visit to displays. And as you enter, uh, no firearms or weapons, although anything can be used as a weapon. Look at nice. Classy uh, establishment, and I'm excited to be here. Honey thinks that this is not going to be a nice room. I might think it's going to be just fine. But maybe our cups are differently half full and half empty. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is.
right, the city of Des Plaines here in Illinois. And uh, taking a little walk back to the hotel, staying at uh, a window. I just talked to the guys from Autograph and Autograph. It's an interesting story. It's interesting to see who's in that band nowadays and uh, some of the guys are going to come on the show and talk about it so you'll get to see that. This has been uh, an interesting trip. As many of you know, I've been diagnosed with skin cancer, which is why I have this uh, scar from a biopsy on my nose. And so I wasn't sure how much I wanted to film myself. Right now, I feel like, what the hell? Uh, and we'll see. But uh, we'll see how much they remove and what happens. So I figure for now, I might as well film as much as I can and stockpile as many interviews as I can. This has been a really busy trip. Yesterday we were in Minneapolis. Today we are in uh, Illinois. Hope everyone can hear me. I don't like investing in $2 microphones. But, uh, and then we're after the show, so tonight's autograph, Quiet Riot, Stephen Piercy. By the time we get back to the hotel, it'll be a little after midnight. I believe we will be heading to the airport around uh, 5 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm happy though, even though the flying's a little brutal. I'll finish Cobra Kai on Netflix. And I'll be happy. I'll be in my bed by noon with the time difference. And I am ready to be uh, home. I hope everyone's been enjoying uh, this trip. And uh, make sure you wear sunscreen. This is our hotel, The Wyndham. And right next door is the Longhorn Steakhouse. I don't think this is the Longhorn uh, where Sid Vicious uh, and the Sex Pistols have their crazy show. If you haven't seen the Sex Pistols at the Longhorn, uh, YouTube it. Look at this. Look what Johnny brought us. This is Portillo's Hot Dogs. I've heard a lot about it. Before I even knew Johnny, I heard that he could eat like 10, ten of these a day. How many of these could you eat a day, Johnny? I don't know, but this is going to be interesting. So what? show us what we got. I'm yeah, excited. The fries, the fries are coming from a long way. And if you've watched the video, you know all the airports we went to to try to find Chicago hot dogs. And uh, yeah, nothing better before going on a show than a hot dog with onion, Eric. onions. Yeah. Hey, if you want to come down to the lobby, I, I relish, got some, some stuff here to eat. Celery salt. Pickle spears. Okay. Eric just told us that um, he's naked. Come down? Let's, all right, let's do this. Well, if you right. want a hot dog, come on down. Otherwise... Let me see this. Two. Oh, okay, like I said, there's nothing better before a show than uh, uh, mustard and relish and pickles and sport peppers. This is gonna oh, be, man. look at that. I'm gonna put my gum on the side. Oh boy, I'm gonna, whatever 90s band this is is gonna get us demonetized. Who is this? You know, you want to I don't, it's too lame for me to know. Okay. Mmm! Mm. Mm. I'm living in Chicago. Here we go. You've seen Jizzy sing, you've seen him dance, you've seen him naked on the internet, but... Now you're making me nervous. Too much pressure, I know. Ready? All right, here we go. Also had pizza Who knew? Yes. Okay. By the way, Rudy was watching on so fascinated by... <laughs> he, couldn't, he couldn't take his eyes off your juggling. Is he listening to Britney Spears? It's his secret guilty pleasure. Well, I don't blame him. It's good stuff. for us Ron's famous Italian feast. I don't know why it's famous, but it looks pretty good. Yeah. It looks good. I'm trying to show people the feast. What are you doing? It looks feasty. You're leaving now? Oh, yeah. It's a little early, but look at this furniture. Right? And then my friend picked up Mickey's ticket.
so there's this place here that you can see apparitions. Creepy things. I just hear quite a riot. It's not that creepy, but. What, so where do I go? You did this by yourself? Yes. This is ridiculous. Did he tell you creepy things happen? Just in this spot? No, in this door. And you open the door. I go in there by myself. We're gonna get stuck in here forever. We have to hear quiet riot for the rest of our lives. A fitting song. You see an apparition of uh, Frankie Banal. Kruger shit. Somebody needs to tear this place down. This is crazy. Look at this. You know some fucking possession. The Santa. Oh my God, Santa! Get out of here. It's not safe. like the Zach Baggins Museum. I just signed Bozo. Is it okay to call you Bozo? Yeah, What's your that's name? Uh, uh, his guitar pick. Show me why they call you Bozo. Look at that, right there. That's an Illinois. Bozo is an Illinois legend, isn't he? Larry Harmon. Anyway, listen, there it is. And uh, not easy when you're diabetic and your handshake. But that's yours. Thank and you, that sir. pick is yours. That's a facsimile. The other side is the uh, actual one. So, anyway, but thank you. It's good thank to you, finally meet. It's nice to see the people who watch the show uh, 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 come out. So. We'll see and he's wearing a shirt that was signed by. Oh, shit, I should have had him resign it. <laughs> I would have. Well, you'll see him again. But yeah, this is signed by Arcade in uh, 1892. It's a thirsty whale. A thirsty whale. All right, Bozo. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Jay. Haunted Mansion. How cool. You open the door and you get rock and roll. Follow you. We're going to a speakeasy, right? Yep. All right. When in Illinois.
There's more? Now we go up an elevator? Yep. Holy shit. There's a code. Oh, wow. Look at this. Who would have known this existed? Yeah, we have a party going on up here. Oh, okay. I hope I don't interrupt their party. Look at this. Look at this. this so these are not rat fans. No. <laughs> They're Huey Lewis fans. But how cool. <laughs> Prohibition hasn't hit here yet. Yeah. They're moonshiners. Moonshine. Yeah, here's the other stage. Second stage. And then we go out here. Oh, look at this. We're in the street again. Wow. There's a lot yep. going on here. Yeah, I can see that. This is a steep staircase. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is how it ends. I knew it. This is how it ends. I'm insane. All right. Well, thank you, brother. Of course. I appreciate the tour. Look at that nice night. Hello. Well, it's been a very uh, long uh, trip in a short amount of time. Day, night, whatever. It's been long. And uh, four, almost four in the morning, we have a 4 a.m. lobby call. I think this is the earliest one that I remember of this uh, trip. But 4 a.m. and we're getting ready to uh, fly <laughs> to places. Minneapolis or something, and then home to Las Vegas. Anyway, it's been a long trip. And of course, it's not uh, light out. I'm going to miss my view of the dumpster. But as you can see, 4 a.m. in uh, Chicago. I'm probably mumbling. I'm exhausted. Haven't gone to sleep. And uh, probably got back here around 12.31. And uh, here we go. Another, uh, another crazy trip. Uh, had some fun times with Autograph and uh, quiet riot and uh anyway uh, no time to rest because we do this again next weekend four in the morning the airport is jumping off the bed. four in the morning crazy This is my pitcher and he can hit really good really well too. So I'm playing a real person. Yes. It's like Tourette. It's like, it's like a Tourette sir. That's how you get electrocuted. He has an involuntary, he has an involuntary reaction to the game. Let's see if I make it. This is how Scotty keeps uh, keeps busy on the play. Baseball clash. Does this work even when you're flying? Yeah. Oh, no, um, the Wi-Fi has to be a certain. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm up for nothing. So it starts at the ninth inning, and, and then if it's you know if you're tied, and by the end of the ninth it goes tenth, eleventh, and then after the twelfth if it's a tie it's a draw. Yeah. So I just got to pitch this guy out. How we, it's how we amuse ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Jerry has has not buys a lot of time. And. Uh, Average proof, proof in photo. Assuming that right now is the 
that time of the attacks. I think we were a strange moment.